Righty out tubers, welcome back. So today I've got a really quick one with what I'm doing. It's more of an update video and you know, what I'm working on or playing with or whatever. What I have is a little 50 litre hot water system. Now this little setup is a very, very jerry rigged because I'm trying to learn how relay works and all that sort of stuff. I'm, I'm trying to teach myself something new. I've got four panels up on the roof. Uh, the 250 watts in parallel and they come down here at about 32 volts or 33 i think 33 volts now there's three problems with this current setup one we've got an ac thermostat and i basically just use a multimeter to work out a multimeter and a hot air gun to work out these two terminals here are the thermostat terminals so i've got it coming out of the relay into the top and then out of the relay and then i've got two little cables here which is negative and positive however they're both black so i guess that's a fourth problem um i've got a dc element in there but however i haven't got any water so problem one ac dc element no water and the incorrect voltage to actually pull it from here so the plan was to run it directly from solar have the solar coming in here to the relay and i was just going to bridge power over to here and this turn is an on and off uh, the reason and the thinking behind that is this is AC and the arcing current of whatever these cables can produce, say 10, 20 amps, um, might destroy that because I'm not sure on the lifespan of that when it's not used in its correct way. Um, this will not be long term. I'm sort of hoping to gauge from you guys if there's a better way of doing this. I do have one of these little devices here. Any moves off camera. Uh, I got one of them. But that's only 30, uh, what's that, 30 degrees or something. So maybe something like that's a better option than that. But I'm using what I've got to learn at the moment. So basically, this is 4 volts. So I can run an 18650 battery, so it makes it very relevant to this video. Um, i just got to get the positive and negative correct. Probably should have the camera further back, but then you'd see the other cool shit I'm working on. Uh, so that's negative. Now, if I can do something creative with this, we should be able to see at the bottom of the camera. So we're gonna see a little red light turn on here if I've got the polarity right. There we go. We see the amps jump up. So doing 3.8 amps there. Can we focus on that? And I'll take that off again. That turns off. That turns back on again. Now, this will be a bit noisy. We'll grab the hot air gun. Turn him on. Now I'm just going to hold the hot air gun up here. It's slightly off camera. I wonder if I can bring that back with, you know, multi-hand this thing. Can we still see? We can. I've still got the battery there, so we've still got the power going to it. So it's only doing three and a half amps. There we go, and it just shut down. So we take the hot air gun away. We are still powering it with our little 18650. I'll see if I can catch it all on camera. The idea is gonna be hook it up to a batrium unit, and then I can actually turn this hot water system on and off DC there we go, just turn back on again, doing three and a half amps into the hot water system. Now I'm gonna turn that off now because I don't want that element running. So turn that off, shuts back down again. Interesting that it actually runs off an 18650. Uh, yeah, so the, the idea is to use the either the, the battery state, so battery full, or just voltage, say 50, no, this is a 24 volt unit, so maybe, I don't know, 26 or 27 volts or something like that, fully charged, and have that turn on the hot water system as a dump load. So, tubers, if that's a stupid idea, please let me know. If it's a good idea, similarly, let me know. Thanks very much for stopping by. I'll see you on the next one.